okay everyone we have already discussed about uh, first two topics economic system and the basic economic concepts now i will explain to you some mcqs topical mcqs relevant to demand and supply and keep in mind i will be making videos as per this table you can see on the screen right now and i will be uh, uh, making these videos containing mcqs relevant to uh, o levels and igcsc level and especially if you are going to appear in mini cai exam then it will definitely help you a lot so i suggest all of you to keep watching this video series and uh, the topic and the topic is demand and supply and question number 1 regarding demand and supply is the diagram shows the demand for chocolate and what would cause the movement from point x to point y it means k in this question examiner is asking about movement from this point to this point and this movement is movement along the same demand curve and you can see that it is happening because of fall in price initially price is p and quantity is q now due to decrease in price to p1 quantity has increased to q1 and whenever quantity demand increases due to fall in price it is called extension in demand and it happens because of fall in the price of chocolate right so you can clearly see on the diagram as well and we technically also know that whenever there is movement along the same demand curve it is caused by uh, change in price right if movement uh, is from y to x then it will be known as contraction in demand and it happens because of rise in price so currently movement is from x to y so we will pick option b that is fall in price of chocolate okay so you might be thinking about other options as well so all other options are the demand shifters so if there is any change in other factors apart from price then demand should shift to the right or left right this okay so d is to d1 or d2 if demand increases due to non price factor it shifts to the right if it falls it shifts to the left so since there is no shift in this diagram so we will pick option b that is movement along the same demand curve which is caused by changes in price what would cause a shift in demand curve for a good uh, as i told you in the in previous question that demand curve shifts only due to non price factors all other factors are non price factors only option c is a price factor a change in the price of the good if there is change in price of the good it will show movement along the same demand curve and not a shift in demand curve income taste and fashion and prices of substitutes and complements these are basically the demand shifters so price will not shift the demand curve because examiner is saying what will not cause shift in demand curve and question number 4 says four changes affecting the supply of a good are listed below what would cause the supply curve to shift to the right again supply curve also shifts uh, due to non price factors right so and again it is saying that shift must be rightward right would mean increase and in, there should be increase in supply so an improvement in technology can increase supply shift supply curve to the right and reduction in labor productivity will reduce production and supply will fall and shift to the left and option b is an increase in market price market price does not shift uh, in supply curve it causes movement along the same supply curve and option d is the introduction of sales tax sales tax again shift supply curve to the left so we will cancel out option b c and d so we will pick option a is the best op best option it basically will result in increase in production and shift supply curve to the right question number 5 says what is an example of complementary goods complementary goods are the goods which complete each other if we purchase one product we have to purchase the other product as well otherwise what happens is Uh, we are not able to use the product we purchased initially. For example, car and petrol are the example of complementary goods. 
and similarly mobile phone and sim card these are the best examples of complementary goods because car cannot run without petrol so they complete each other and in this uh, scenario option c is correct answer television and electricity if you buy a television then you need power to power to basically uh, run that television otherwise um, it will not work so television and electricity are uh, complementary goods so they complete each other okay the next question i'm going to discuss is question number 12 and for better understanding i suggest you should stop the video and you can read the question carefully and if you are still unable to solve it then play the video and watch what is the correct answer and what is the correct uh, explanation of that answer too so question number 12 says the diagram shows a change in demand for coffee so demand curve is shifted from d1 to d2 it means it is increasing whenever demand curve shifts to the right we call it increase in demand and increase in demand is caused by non-price factors right and uh, the first option is a good coffee harvest so harvest is relevant to production and when production increases supply will rise not the demand so we will omit option a now move to option b rise in the price of alternative drinks is we can move back to this question this option later on option c is a rise in wage wages of coffee workers when wages of coffee workers are high then definitely uh, cost of producing coffee will rise because uh, cost of production increases supply will fall so supply uh, will be affected due to changes in wage rate of coffee workers uh, not the demand so this is demand curve so we will again skip this op option d is a successful advertising campaign for tea if there is successful advertising campaign for tea then people must buy more tea and demand for coffee must be uh, lower or it must be decreasing however in this graph coffee demand for coffee is increasing so it means option d is also inappropriate because if tea is advertised successfully it means people should buy more tea and they should demand less uh, coffee but in this scenario coffee demand for coffee is increasing so we will again skip option d option b is the correct answer a rise in price of alternative drinks if alternative drinks to coffee are expensive then people will prefer to buy more coffee so demand for coffee will rise so these are this is a concept of substitute when substitutes are expensive then definitely people buy uh, the alternative product okay hope these questions will help you you can further practice you can try to get this book i'm showing on your on the screen and uh, the name of this book is basically o level economics topical paper one by kamar baloch and you can search it in the market it is easily available and i will i will also give you the link of this book uh, in description you can basically get it from there as well so this is it for today see you in the next video